to answer your question very briefly, I'd say this, is we lay out, as we do when we brief and teach and train law enforcement or leaders, the jihadi movement, the terrorist movement in the United States is working directly in conjunction with the hard left Marxist movement. Mm -hmm. So whether we're talking about any of the Soros funded groups, including Black Lives Matter, at the ground level, at the state level, at the national level, and at the international level, they are working together. And there are a lot of common threads that tie them together. And uh, to kind of punctuate that, I'll just say this. During the 1980s, 100% of the anti-nuclear protests in Europe and the United States were funded by the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. 1,000 or 5,000 or 10,000 people don't randomly just pop up with pre-printed signs yeah. and, uh, and a complete logistical plan uh, out of nowhere. You're correct about that. This is all, when you see these things, whether it's in Ferguson or Baltimore or New York or wherever, they are planned and they are funded by uh, enemies of the United States. Mm -hmm. yeah. Joel, have you studied any of that yourself? Wow, wow. You know, it's it's when I look at these sort of things, I look at the rage. There's a spirit of rage yes. that has just swept the nation. I look at the the riots in Berkeley. They're burning things, and right. yeah, you know, Ferguson and this sort of thing. Is I go, okay, what is what's behind this? What's the spiritual issue? Mm -hmm. Because now, look, mm -hmm. Black Lives Matters. There is a very sacred issue there that much of the Black community feels, and that's legitimate. But then Satan comes along and he subverts it, and he gets these folks that they preempt it. What I think is happening is sort of a prelude. When what I see all of this rage, I see Psalm two. Mm -hmm. Why do the Gentiles gather? Why do they conspire? Why do they plot a vain thing? And it's not against Donald Trump. Now, on the outside, in the natural, it's we hate Donald Trump. We're furious about this. We're furious about that. But the scriptures say they gather and they plot ultimately against the Lord and against his anointed. And I really, there's, there's a lack of logic. There's a, ra there's a rage that comes over. And, you know, they're protesting what? They don't like that Donald Trump is a warmonger, and therefore they're going to break and destroy. You know, there's a fundamental cognitive dissonance. There's a, there's a detach. And so we need to recognize the spirit that's behind it. Mm -hmm. It's much bigger than just the, the most recent elections or this sort of thing. There is, a, there is a rebellion that's rising up throughout the nations. And I think we're going to just see it continue to increase. What we saw both from the Soviet Union and now we see from the Islamic movement, which is the same thing we see from the uh, hard left movement, is a destruction of reason. If we know that wisdom comes from reverence for the Lord mm -hmm. and we take the Lord, we take God mm -hmm. out of the schools, we take God right. out of the public square, this is just as simply the natural outcome mm -hmm. of what the result is going to be. So yeah. this shouldn't, shouldn't surprise us. You know, and let me add to this, too, because you're talking about some of the groups that are funding some of these movements. In the past, it was the Soviets. The Soviets spent, I don't know the exact numbers, it was a ridiculous amount of money on their global propaganda campaign. Presently, when you really get down to the foundation, what is the single largest financial corrupting influence in Washington? What is the single greatest foreign lobby power? Some people say it's the World Bank, it's this, that, or the other thing. It's a single family it's a single government, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Saudi royal family is the single greatest financially corrupting influence in our nation, from presidents to senators, you name it, corporations, media outlets. And ultimately behind that is the funding of this, forget the Soviet Union, the largest propaganda campaign in human history has been funded by Saudi Arabia. That's right. that's and that's a true. big part of what's behind that's all of this. That's absolutely true.